Greetings. Welcome back to my channel, Ham Radio Test and Review. Today I'm going to point out and show you a problem with the squelch uh, that uh, this particular radio has. Um, it doesn't break squelch easily, and you have to have a very, very, very loud signal in order for the squelch to be broken. And let me show you what happens. When you set the squelch to zero, you should be receiving static at all times. So I'm going to show you the volume is turned all the way up. We see a green light on showing that it's receiving a signal. If you look at the uh, S meter up at the top of the screen, you'll see that it actually is receiving something, and that's just a static level. And I'll show you what I mean. Basic settings. Squelch level is set to zero. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It should be going shh all the time. So this is a definite problem, it's specifically on UHF, not so much on VHF, but this is a definite problem. So let's go back. So we Analog be, settings. We should be receiving nothing but static at all times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transmit on a uh, chunk of particular repeater. And you can see the signal strength gets up higher. And we're not hearing anything. This is a radio that should be uh, sending out a sound for the, from the repeater as, uh, as it receives it. And so this is a, a real problem that uh, iRadio and Radtel need to address. So iRadio, Radtel, Squelch. It's a real problem. Squelch is a real problem on this radio. As you can see, it is receiving a signal from a repeater. It's up to about seven, eight, nine almost on the signal strength meter, and nothing is coming out of the speaker. The speaker is, the volume's turned up all the way. And the squelch is turned down to zero. Should be hearing anything and everything. So, this is what we need to do. iRadio, Radtel, fix it. This is Dave, Prescott, Arizona. One test is worth a thousand expert opinions, saying 73s and so long.